Hey guys, a little late start to the morning, but it is 7.52 and I'm about to start a 30 minute workout. Good morning, happy Monday. So it is 8.24 in the morning and I just got done with my both my rings and I'm working on the blue one and I am 30% done with my audiobook. Good start to Monday. Hey guys, good morning, it is 9.03. And I'm going to watch this Hallmark movie, Color My World With Love. Um, this just came out last night, but it was out at 9 o'clock at night, and I was already too tired to um, pay attention to it. So I'm going to watch it now. And the two main characters have Down syndrome, so we'll see how the... Um, disability representation is. And while, yeah, yes, I'm still in my pajamas from yesterday, or my clothes from yesterday, but I fell asleep in this shirt, and we don't judge her on here. But while, yes, I can't speak to um, having Down syndrome, I do know what having a disability is like. And I'll tell you, the first time that I saw someone, um, who used a chair like me was on Glee. And when it came out that um, his name was Artie, Artie, the character's name was Artie. I can't remember like the, the actor's name, but when it came out that he wasn't actually disabled, that like broke me, you know? Cause like, I don't know. I just, I just think that when you have a, a role that you know, either has a disabled character or like is talking about a dis disabled character, I think that that role should be for disabled people. You know, just like, I don't know, just like, I don't know, like if there was going to be a movie about like, a, you know, like a police officer or something or like an insurance agent who works like nine to five, like, I don't know what it's you know I don't know what it's like to be a police officer or I don't know what it's like to work in insurance or something so you know I don't know so we'll see we'll see we'll see how it goes um and I'll keep you updated so it is 10 45 I just finished the movie color my world with love and I have thoughts and I will share those in just a little bit I also got coffee because if you order ahead with the app on Mondays from Dunkin', you get 100 points, which is halfway to a free beverage. So I'll get a free beverage soon. What? Thanks, Amanda. Yeah, thanks, Amanda, my sister-in-law. But I rate the movie um, a solid 8.5 out of 10. Okay guys, so I'm back and I'm ready to give you um, my thoughts. Uh, like I said before, I give it a solid eight out of 10. There are just a couple of things that I didn't like, um, but let's start with what I did like. First, I loved that both of the actors in the, uh, the main story were actually disabled. And I hate that I even have to say that, but when I was in the shower, I was like, oh yeah, remember that movie that Sia and Maddie Ziegler from Dance Moms did where Maddie um, played the part of an autistic individual or an individual with autism. Um, and yeah, so I was like, yeah, I should mention that, but I was like, I can't even believe I have to, but I do because of things like that. And it sucks because Natty, whatever. Anyways, um, so that was point number one for what I liked. Um, and um, point number two is that it's uh, 
disability representation in a movie and you know tv and whatever so i, I liked that and i also liked that um it was it was funny because the young lady um is an artist and uh she gets paid for her art um but they mentioned something about she was like oh i have two thousand dollars and like ding 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 that immediately went off to me because hold on my knees are here. sorry i came outside to finish up this part really quick because i want to give you this review and i know that it's taken me 75 years um but the part about the two thousand dollars was funny to me because if you're in um if you are disabled or if you just know how significant that is that's just that was another check mark to me i was like "Ooh, they're getting this right which that two thousand dollar thing doesn't affect everybody like you know you know it's different for everybody but obviously it affects the majority of people so um and what else did i like oh i also liked that the um i don't i don't want to say caregiver like he he more sounded like the older brother an older brother to me but the older brother figure to the young man who had down syndrome i liked that he um was building like this kind of like community center slash like apartment style thing um kind of like assisted living but not really um it, they they explained it better in the movie but it was like um where people could live and uh you know like have their case managers on site and then like you know do fun stuff and still be in a community type setting but you know if they wanted more independence or if they were ready for that then go like you know live on their own and stuff and you know but still have help with whatever they needed um so i liked that and um and yeah so that was a good point because like it's always like oh what are we you know what are we gonna do are we gonna live on our own or whatever whatever um and i did like the fact that um they uh like they had the overprotective ish mother um because again for me i can't personally speak to having um down syndrome but um and actually like i, I actually kind of prefer to have my mom be like around when i'm like you know doing stuff and hanging out with people just like in case of emergency or whatever but they they played it as where like the mother is um overprotective and like you know kind of stifles the the young lady but i don't know i i didn't mind that the uh the mother was there um what else what else stood out to me oh it stood out to me that the um couple got married at the end which was very very sweet um i would definitely watch the movie again it was very good um what else and you know in typical hallmark fashion the mother of the young lady and the um caretaker of the or caregiver you know support person whatever of the young man um ended up falling in love too so yeah um but that was you know that's typical hallmark fashion um but in the previews they were playing they were playing that the um young lady and the young man would uh get involved um but yeah other than yeah that was really good um the only thing that i did not like i did not like was that um when somebody used the word um disabilities they corrected them and they said challenges which i didn't really like um because again yes we have challenges as 
disabled people and, you know, um, some people have, you know, different challenges than I do. But disability isn't a bad word. And I think especially in like a TV or movie series like that, obviously you're not going to get everything, but I think that um, they definitely should have used the word disabilities. Um, I don't want to spoil it anymore, but that was, I mean, I kind of already did kind of spoil it, but yeah, that was my, uh, that was my review. Hey guys, so it is 2.48, almost 3 o'clock, and um, my niece is here sleeping, and my mom's outside doing something. Um, I think they're blowing up a little baby, baby pool that we have for her, but my sister's out there too. Um, but I actually just got off the phone with my other niece from New Jersey, so been a busy day and um my sister did my hair she did my braids today and um next time she comes she's gonna because I asked her about the bubble braids and uh she's gonna 
try to do that in my hair next time. I just don't have the elastics for them. Um, but she does, so she's gonna do them for me. Um, but yeah, it's been like a, a quiet day. But it's been good. And, um, yeah, it's Monday again. Can't believe it. Hey, everybody. So it is 534 right now. And I'm just watching a little Netflix. Um, and, uh, my niece just left and we kind of spent the afternoon just chilling out, hanging out. Um, she has, like, this pool but it's like an adult sized pool because like there's four little seats in it but actually I think it I think it is an adult sized pool and my sister is just modifying it for a baby I didn't go in there today um obviously it's something that like you could put on the deck or the ground it's not like to go in the water um I didn't go in there today but I'm gonna go in there next time they bring it over um but yeah i'm dealing with a little bit of pain in my side so that's why i'm not like yay super excited today because i'm in pain and it hurts um but anyway i am going to end the video here thank you so much for watching if nobody told you this today you are awesome and i appreciate you and um thanks for coming along with me Hopefully I can rally and go to dance class tomorrow because that's a lot of moving and whatever. And I think I might have pulled a muscle, but we'll see. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.